All right, welcome to an episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be cleaning up our component. Like as you can see here, we've got the class layout and we've got the contact and we've got the data all mixed into one file. And the whole reason behind having this beautiful structure is so that we can put things into their place. Uh, so we're going to start with the contact over here. So I'm going to go ahead into the component and I'm going to create a new file called uh, contact.js. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do import react from react. And then basically here, I'm just going to cut the code from here and then just paste it in just like that. Um, and uh, I don't actually think we even need that. So let's just try that. Um, so this should be okay. Uh, and then, so what we're going to do next, uh, so we need to export this. So, um, why is it complaining? Aha. Okay. So uh, export default contact. So we're going to export that out. And then basically we're going to do a, um, export. Actually, we don't need to do that. Uh, we don't need to export the co contact component because we're going to use it inside the layout. Uh, so another thing we're going to need to do is uh, this data uh, needs to be um, preferably, you know, inside. So I'm just going to create a new data.js for now. We're going to keep it simple. So we, now we need to move uh, the data stuff out. So I'm just going to copy the, cut the data out like that. Um, and then basically I'm going to paste it in like that and do an export default data. Uh, and then what we're going to do next is uh, we are going to uh, import all of them into here. So import data from um, and then dot data. We also need to import the contact from contact. So uh, this will pretty much clean a lot of this up. Um, you know, we now have um, you know, it's kind of like abstracted out into their own little, um, you know, component. Uh, so let's try uh, rendering this out. Uh, let's go back to here. I'm going to do npm start to start the project and then basically uh, see where we're at. So I'm going to head over here do a reload. Everything should be just the same. So just wait for the loader to finish over there. Um, okay. So it says uh, warning key prop check the Aha, I see. So, um, so basically we have to now apply, uh, when we're rendering this, we need some kind of a, we need a key to differentiate, um, you know, the different, um, component over here. Okay. So it says that, uh, Re react is not defined. Okay. So basically we need to, um, you know, that's what I thought as well in the beginning is we need to import react from react. Uh, and then if I do a reload over here, uh, everything should work just fine. Okay, so here's another uh, thing, right? Uh, when we are rendering uh, components, they need to have a unique key. Uh, and because we're rendering it three times based on our data set here, we, what we need to do is add an ID, one uh, comma, and then um, over here, I'm gonna add an ID uh, two, and then an ID three. And then basically what we're going to do is in our uh, contact, we're going to um, actually in our index, sorry, in our layout, we're going to have a uh, key equals, um, and then we're going to do info.id. So that should work. There we go. So that's solved the warning uh, over here. And so now you can see that, um, you know, we have abstracted everything out. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, we need to always ensure like when we're doing a component over here, we need to always ensure that we import uh, React, uh, you know, as a dependency for that particular component, even if it's just a constant and we're not extending or anything, it needs a React to be in the file. All right, so in the layout, uh, all we did was we imported, you know, like, so this is basically relative path. We importing this contact here into the layout and we imported the data here. And then basically it all comes together here in this layout over here. All right, guys. So if you guys found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our website, become a member, uh, pay for the member subscription to support our channel, to keep us going. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And that's going to wrap it up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.